Konnichiwa class. What language? Japanese. Very good. Okay, today my book is called The Polar Bear Paddle. And just by taking a look at the cover, what would you think it's about? And give yourself a little thought in your head about what you predict the story is about and maybe what at the end you can say, mm, yeah, it was what I thought. This author is David Bedford and I'm guessing the illustrator is Karen Sapp. Let's open it up and see. That's, this is not the title, well that is the title page, The Polar Bear Paddle. Here is the title. Here is where it says David Bedford, Karen Sapp, and does not specifically say that one's the illustrator, so I don't know on that one. Alfie the polar bear loved water. He could float quietly like a humpback whale. He could tumble like a blurry snowball. And he could swim too, but he only ever swam in the baby pool. Alfie could only do the polar bear paddle. You're too big for the baby pool, said Alfie's older brothers. Why don't you swim in the sea with us? Will you show me how, said Alfie. Nope. We're too busy, said Alfie's brothers, and they swam away together. Well, that was not nice. <laughs> Here we go. There's the picture. So, by reading just a few pages, does your prediction of the book change? Probably. Alfie watched diving bird diving in the sea. Plop! Maybe Diving Bird will help me, Alfie thought. How do you swim in the sea? Easy, flap your wings and pretend you are flying. I haven't got wings. Something went whizzing past. Whoosh! Right here it says something went whizzing past. Whoosh! What's down here? A fish. And what does this bird eat? This fish. So why does he have wings? To catch fish. What was that? That was Seal. She thinks she's a fish. If I could swim like a fish, thought Alfie, then I could swim in the sea. Alfie climbed the steps to the top of Seal's slippery slide. How do you swim in the sea? I wriggle and squiggle. Alfie tried wriggling, but he felt silly. That's it, Alfie, called Seal. Keep squiggling. But Alfie went faster and faster, and when he reached the bottom of the slide... Alfie flew through the air! That's it, Alfie, called Diving Bird. Flap your wings and close your eyes! My eyes are closed! shouted Alfie, and the next moment... Oh boy, I bet you that was scary for him. Splosh! Alfie was in the sea. He tried wriggling and squiggling like seal. He flapped his arms like diving bird, but in the end he did the polar bear paddle. When Alfie opened his eyes, he saw everyone clapping and waving. You were awesome, Alfie, shouted his brothers. Will you show us how you dive in, please, Alfie? Okay, said Alfie, I will. Ready? asked Alfie. 
Yes, we think so, said his brothers, feeling scared. Then go, shouted Alfie. They wriggled down the slide like seal. Whee! They flapped through the air like diving bird. Yippee! And then... In they dived. Splash! Splash! After that, Alfie was happy to swim in the sea like a polar bear. It's called the polar bear paddle, Alfie told his brothers, and he soon showed everyone how to do it. And that was it. That's a very short book, isn't it? The Polar Bear Paddle. This makes me think of a time in anybody's life when they're kind of scared to do something and then you end up doing it and it didn't seem so scary after all. So think of something that maybe right now you're maybe a little afraid of doing. Maybe it's riding your bike or... Um, I don't know, jumping on a trampoline or something. Maybe something you haven't tried that seems scary. Maybe make a goal and see, uh, think, hmm, maybe I should do that. Because Polar Bear, he was a little afraid to go swimming. He didn't know how to. Then he did it and he was so excited that he could do this. And then he showed other people how. That is what's really cool when you learn how to do new things. And then you can show other people how and it makes you feel so good about yourself that you know how to do it. And it makes you feel good and it makes other people feel happy. So think of something that makes you a little bit scared to do and try and accomplish that. And I bet you'll make you happy. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.